What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you guys what is the best way for you to practice in this game, whether it be shooting, whether it be dribbling, whether it be crossing, whether it be skill moves, this is the best way for you to learn how to play this game. Obviously, you will interpret what you do, what I'm about to teach you, and you have to interpret it to online because online is the best way to learn how to play this game. But I'm going to show you what you can do in order to practice the certain things that you want to learn. For instance, I know a lot of people ask me, what's the best way to practice my body feints? What's my, the best way to practice my fake shots? I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. So what you guys are going to want to do is that you want to go to your settings. You want to go to your game settings. Uh, what you want to do here is you want to find the place that says CPU gameplay customization. When you get over here, everything depends on what you want them to do. These are called sliders. Now I have them set to specific things. Um, I just set it up right now. I don't really use it because I always play online, but it's the best way for you to practice your skill moves, your shooting, your passing, whatever it is you want to practice during offline so you can interpret it into your online gameplay. So I'll run down the list for you guys. Sprint speed zero, acceleration zero, shot error, pass error at 100, shot speed, pass speed, uh, both at zero, injury frequency, injury severity, goalkeeper ability at 50, now, for the goalkeeper ability, what you guys are going to want to do is you're going to set it to whatever you guys want to set it. If you are practicing on your shot, keep it at 50 because 50 is what they are on online. So the way you finish against a goalie with 50 is the same way it's going to be online. So I would highly suggest putting it, leaving it at 50. Uh, position marketing, positioning run frequency, uh, positioning line height, line length, line width, fullback positioning, and control error are all at zero. This basically makes the opposing team absolutely garbage. It's like they don't even know what they're doing. So it's like they don't even have a mind of their own, basically. So these are the settings that you're going to want to have before you get into a kickoff match. So make sure you go to the play option, go to the kickoff, and we'll start up a match with Real Madrid and some other team. Another thing that you guys are going to want to do is you want to go to your game settings and you're going to want to play on clear to make sure that it does not rain. Because rain is the worst way for you to practice because rain affects your gameplay a ton. So... Make sure that you're playing on clear as well. So now that you're in a game and you have people like Ronaldo and Sergio Ramos, you can now practice the things that you want to do. So for instance, people have asked me, oh, how do I practice body feints? How do I practice fake shots the best way possible? Do this, go to your kickoff and practice the skill moves in here. Because when you do this, no one is going to touch the ball from you, right? No one is going to try to get the ball from you at all, right? Now, obviously, once you perfected the skill move, you're going to want to play online because online is where you improve as a player obviously, because you're not going to want to play against a CPU because the way the CPU plays, they don't play the right way. They play very, like, sweaty. Make sure that you don't play against uh, CPUs when it comes to improving your gameplay in general. When it comes to improving skill moves, shooting, passing, you're going to want to have to play in the kickoff mode because it will help you out the most. I used to do this a lot for games like FIFA 14 where I would play the demo and just practice the skill moves like this. Like, I'm just doing a bunch of fake shots right now. Uh, I'm doing a bunch of body feints and stuff like that too. Like it's just the best way to practice. If you want to make the goalie on the opposing team really bad to practice your shots, you can do that too, man. Considering that the team is really bad, they won't even touch you, dude. They won't even touch you. So you can practice how much power you're supposed to put into a shot against a goalie. You could try doing body feints at this these angles over here. You try cutting in, seeing how much power you need from there. It's the best way for you to do things because the goalie is at 50. Since the goalie's at 50, that's what it is online as well. So it's the best way for you to practice your shots, whether you should move up quicker, whether you should not move up quicker. It's really up to you. For finishing, you're going to want to push the, push the players a little bit farther, of course, because they're basically playing uh, park the bus right now. So you obviously don't want this to happen. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go to your settings. If you want to practice your shots, make sure you go to your settings. Go to game settings. Go back to the CPU option, and they'll give you the option down here where it says position line length right so this is at zero and position line height as well sorry i think there's a couple more here as well no there isn't so just these two over here put them to a hundred because that's when their players are going to completely push up and they're going to basically leave themselves vulnerable in the defense and that's when you can practice your shooting and your finishing so now that we put it to 100, we can now test to see exactly what the players are going to do on the field. And I'll show you guys exactly what's going to happen. So let's just kick this ball out. And you guys are going to see the complete difference of what the opposing team is going to start doing. So the moment I get this ball, you will see the team will start to push out. Let me just get this ball real quick. 
There we go. So we now have the ball. Now you start to see his team start to push up a little bit more. So now, since the defending is auto in this game, it helps you plan out your attacks. But it, it allows you to get closer to the net too. You know, you can now practice your finesse shots. You can practice any way that you want to finish in this game because the players are pushed out more. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. That's the best way for you to learn the skill moves, the crossing, the shooting in this game. It's basically using sliders. Sliders will help you out so much in this game because you can practice the certain things that you want to learn in this game. So that's basically it for this video. I hope it helped you guys though. This is exactly how you guys are supposed to practice your skill moves, your shooting and your passing because I know a lot of people in my streams have been asking exactly how I used to practice my skill moves and stuff. I used to do a lot of it online, but it's the worst thing for you to possibly do. It's better for you to learn it offline and then interpret your game style onto online. I hope this video helped you guys out. Please drop a thumbs up if it did, and I will see you guys in the next video or the stream. Peace.